Well, it is leafy, it's green, it's healthy, it can be tasty too. What am I talking about? Why, lettuce, of course. And did you know that lettuce has been served in dishes for more than 4,500 years? Plus, get this little known fact. Christopher Columbus introduced it to the New World and it began cultivating in the United States. Well, meet Rick Antel this morning. For three generations, Rick's family has been cultivating a variety of veggies from lettuce and cauliflower to celery and sweet Italian red onions. He and his family truly put the art into artisan lettuces and masterpiece meals. That's why as part of our My Cuisine series, We've asked him to join us this morning to give us some tips on designing beautiful, tasty, and inspired recipes. What an introduction, Rick. Good morning to you. Great, Daniela. Thank you, and thanks for having us here. We're going to show you how to make some wonderful, healthy salads to improve your diet. All right, so, Rick, let's start here at the very beginning. You know, you're kind of known as the guru of, of all things lettuce. How do we prep and serve lettuce for maximum flavor and, and just also maximum visual appeal? Well, Daniela, it's great. It's as simple as one, two, three. Our artisan lettuce is a prime example of the way to quick and easy prep it. First, we just eliminate the core off the bottom. All right. And then you either chop it twice or three times, whatever size you prefer for your salad. Then we're second, we're going to put it over into the colander. Yeah. Now, here's the trick. Yeah. We're going to rinse it with lukewarm water. Not only does it get the dirt off, it's also going to rehydrate and crisp this lettuce. You have started just right out the gate, my yeah. friend, because I would have used cold water. I've been using cold water. Yeah. From here, we're going to take it, put it dry, shake it dry. It'll get it in a bowl, put it over in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. It'll be crisp and fresh every time. I love that. All right, the perfect salad. What do we do? How do we make that perfect salad? Well, what I like to do is really think about my salad and create it with some color and texture, the cucumber and a, a, a carrot. We could also use julienne bell peppers, a little kick and crunch, some celery, some uh, red onion, maybe a crouton. Mm -hmm. And then just as an accent, maybe some tomatoes, blue cheese, bell pepper, toss it with a little vinaigrette or even a dressing of your choice. Yeah, the dressing of my choice is sometimes a little heavier than the vinaigrette. Well. And I'm sure this artisan lettuce can stand up to that because I see you brought some really beautiful things here. And I want to start with this because this actually looks like something that I would pack in my kids' lunch. That's exactly what it is. Ah. It's a lunchbox chicken salad. We've got the chicken, we've got some grapes, a little celery, a nice dressing on it. And as it's on the side, we'll be able to put that into a lettuce leaf that's been pre-prepped. Nice. It eliminates the bread and the calories of a tortilla or a slice of bread. This is all part of our fall salad smarts campaign, improving the nutrition in the schools in both the United States and in Canada. Nice thing to do. I absolutely love that. Now, this dish, when I saw it, I thought this would make a lovely centerpiece, almost too pretty to eat. Well, it is. It's a real crowd pleaser, I must say. This is our fall for artisan layered trifle salad. And what we've done here is we've simply taken our ingredients and we've mixed them through and placed them into layers, giving the visual effect and that really uh, decorative look to it. We put the dressing on the side, and as you're ready to serve, just go ahead and dress it that way. Yeah, and the other thing I like that you said about this is with this, you really should layer with your heaviest stuff at the bottom and kind of work your way up to the top with your lighter stuff. Why is that? Well, if, you know, where, it really, where that really is important, if you're going to a cookout or a potluck, ah. go ahead where you're going to place the dressing on the bottom, work your way up with your heartier ingredients to the lettuces on the top. Then when it's time to toss and serve, just simply stir the, the, the product up and it's ready to go. Be the life of the party, Rick, if you yeah. walk in with something like this. Let me ask you, though, can this be used as kind of like a purely vegetable dish, like as a main dish? Well, you can have be purely vegetable, or if you'd like to make it a main dish plate, go ahead and add some protein. Put some chicken, maybe some ah, shrimp, uh -huh. or a flank steak uh, diced uh, on top. All right, can I make a confession? Yeah. I don't really know a whole lot about varieties. There are two that I love, Iceberg Gourmet. The only, say, the only reason I say I love them is because that's all I know. Well, let's get I'm you. sure there are more than two. You gotta, you gotta think broader. <laughs> gotta got, think outside the lettuce box, yeah, okay. Exactly, we got Iceberg, we've got the le uh, Romaines, we've got the Boston types. Our newest is an artisan lettuce. This is three so varieties. Pretty. It's a tango, it's a gem, and it's an oak. Each one of them have a different texture and taste. They've all got uh, a red and a green of each in every container. They're whole heads, they're not processed. They're gonna last longer in your refrigerator. Yeah. And what people really love about this is it, it holds up. It's got a great fork ability, taste and flavor. Ah, uh, and it smells amazing. The lettuce has such a wonderful aroma, Rick. Thank you for coming by the show and sharing well, all you. of these inspiring recipes with us this morning. All right, and if you want more ideas and recipes that use this unique style of lettuce, simply check out the website. It is artisanlettuce.com.